I propose rather than you doing that. Uh, there you okay. go. All right, we're in. Game time. <sighs> Welcome to an episode of Power of Bourbon, uh, where we're trying to get bottles that we didn't have time to review caught up because we're behind. We're playing a little catch up. Yep. Uh, <clears throat> so a re limited release. Yeah, it's a limited release every year. Once and, a year. Yeah, that I we look. It's called a limited release. Yeah, that we look forward to getting. Well, at least this guy does because I can't afford it. Um, These Yellowstone. One hundred and one. I'll take a good picture of this. So. Uh, this year, because I have to introduce it so he can make fun of me, it is finished in Marsala Superior casks. Oh, that actually wasn't as terrible as I was anticipating. So is it like I was hoping. chicken tiki masala? No, that's oh. a little. That's a different Marsala. Oh, okay. Not anyway. chicken Marsala. Yeah, so this is uh, Yellowstone, which is Lime Branch Distillery. You've probably... Well, we did the uh, Yellowstone versus... Um, uh, Whistlepick and yep. the Yellowstone one. So this is their limited release of it. Uh, why they have not put a lot of money uh, to Kevin Costner and sponsored Yellowstone uh, in TV? Like I don't know. Buffalo Trace got on that bandwagon, of course. Yeah, they did. But yeah, so they finish it in something different. Uh, it comes in recently every time at 101, right? Yep. So 101 proof. Uh, so yeah, we'll see what we think. So yeah, this is a seven blended seven, fifteen, and sixteen year age bourbon. So got some age on it in those Marsala wine casks. So Marsala is a fortified wine from Marsala, city of Marsala, region of Marsala in Sicily, Italy. So if you know Italy's like a boot, I can't get my foot to die. It's like the end of the boot. You're kicking the boot. It's the soccer ball. There you go. Uh, so what's a fortified wine? Um, a wine that then they fortify with alcohol. Okay, there we go. There it is. He's the wine expert. They fortify. You're still not supposed to use the, the word in the definition. But when we when we get big enough, we can be power of wine on mm -hmm. the side. Maybe. All right. So on the nose. <clears throat> I get a lot of age on this. Like yeah. it's just it's a um, it's oak. I get a little orange dreamsicle. Yeah. I'm getting a little more of the, like a caramel vanilla. Yeah. It's, it's not a very powerful nose. It's very light and delicate. Um, <clears throat> really got a hunt for those flavors, but that also means it's nothing like overpowering. That's going to make you not want to smell it either. So yeah. Pretty good. I don't pick up a lot of the finishing barrels. Like if you'd yeah. ask me, you know, sometimes we play the game, right? Um, tell proof, is it finished? What type of bourbon is it? Or what type of whiskey is it? Yeah. I'd have a hard time telling you that this was finished. No. That palette's a, that's a weird, weird transition. Yeah. So first off, I'm going to say, to me, it drinks a lot hotter than 101. I think that's fair. Uh, yeah. And then <clears throat> when you first take a sip, it is orangey, uh, fruity on the palate. And then everything goes downhill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And when you say downhill, it's like a straight, it's what I didn't pick up in the nose is this. It's almost like a. It's a straw note that comes back at the at the second half of the palate. You get a little bit of that sweet that TJ was talking about on the front side. Um, I does I don't get as much of the citrus, but definitely some of those sweeter notes in the front that then transitions into this. It's like a spicy straw. When I say and when I say spicy, I'm more of like a clove spice. It's a, a or a anise, like almost a little bit of like a licorice flavor. Yeah, to me, it's somebody added a wrong ingredient to the recipe and it just stands out really bad. Um, everything was working really well together. And then on that transition from pile to finish, it just pops and not in a good way for me. So. Um, yeah. And then it's hard to get like, and some of that's just the, <laughs> the transition of the flavor notes to your brain. Um, how much of that actually 
transitions into the finish, but that's like the lasting impression um, in my in my brain is that that straw note. And so the finish, I'm not sure how much of that straw really lingers, but the finish is, I mean, it's it's there, like you said, it drinks a little yeah. hotter than 101 proof. So maybe you're getting some of those ethanol um, notes at 101 that are coming through. Um, I don't know. I think this is, uh, I've been a fan of the Yellowstone. Yeah. Particularly, I think a 2019 batch was um, was my first one. And that was, I yeah. really enjoyed that. And then you got the 2020, actually. And yeah. then, uh, that was also a hitter. Um, I think the last two, and this one is probably my least favorite of, yeah. of the four that we've had. Yeah, this is my least favorite of all of them. Um, this one, I would say pass. If, if you're out wandering a liquor store and you see it and you're like, oh, limited release, I really want to pick it up. I can't, I can't recommend this one. They do some amazing, you'd be better off with a Yellowstone single barrel pick. Um, yeah. Yep. That are generally hitters. Uh, I can't recommend this one. It's almost like they left it in the cask a little bit too long and it did something funky with the flavors. I if you told me this was a four and a half year old craft whiskey, I might believe you. Yeah. Especially the palate. The nose, I think it gives you some of the depth of that age. Um, but the the palate for sure is um, with those strong grainy notes are, um, yeah, almost indicative of a, of a young whiskey. So that's surprising to me. And then yeah. the I don't know that the finishing cask really, really, well, maybe it helped the bourbon, but um, and maybe we're just not a fan of Marsala finish. Yeah bourbons but yeah <clears throat> for me it's one of those where the finish should always make you want to take a second sip and this one the finish makes me want to be done and not keep drinking it uh and what is it a hundred dollars or so for a bottle yep. yeah uh that's 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 a bit much so we don't uh, often say things are a big old pass. Occasionally we do. Uh, yeah, often they're the balance between like backup bottle and bar pour. Right. Um, this one's definitely a bar pour <laughs> before you ever buy it. Bar pour or pass. Yeah, but probably a pass. Unless you've had Marsala finish before and that's just your jam, then yeah, maybe give it a try. Uh, but definitely a pass. Yeah, let us know. Um, this video is coming out. You know, the the limited release. I think they release them in August or uh, sometime between August and October. Things release calendars were really messed up this year. Yeah. Um, so let us know if if what your thoughts were. If you did if you did snag a bottle, um, what were your thoughts on the past the Yellowstones? Um, we we had been a fan of the previous ones, uh, but this one in particular, not hitting our palates. Yep. So, once again, thanks for watching. See you next time. Cheers. Stay neat.